So what to consider when purchasing smart devices? So congratulations, you've made it this far in the journey. You, now you've got your specs in place, opportunities are gonna start to arise, and you'll be able to introduce those smart devices in your facility. So it can be exciting when you start evaluating this technology and with a defined plan in place, it's gonna put you in a great place to really make the best decisions, okay? So maybe it's an upgrade of an old MCC or if drives are just simply starting to fail and you really need to get a plan for, for to get those moving forward. Whatever the opportunity is, here are a few items to consider before you make that purchase. First of all, you don't have to make full use of the network capability right out the gate. Slow down, it's okay. Get it in place, that's most important. If your control specialist is tied up for a couple weeks or a month or even three months, it's fine. Don't let that impact your decision to get the smart device now because you can integrate it later. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Number two, you're going to need some help laying out your network. You really need to consider performance requirements also. Sometimes if you're moving data and you need to move it at a high rate of speed, you need to know what your network uh, requirements are and what its capabilities are as well. Okay. So this may be where you need to start looking at that network assessment and really understand what your, your limits are and what your capabilities could be if you made some uh, improvements in certain areas. Number three, the hardware. And think about things like connections and switches. It's so important. Too many industrial environments are just ripe with instances where you have the Best Buy switches sitting in, this, in the rooms with blue hoses connected to them. That's great, that got you out of a bind. You just don't want that to be a long-term solution. You need to make sure robust network architecture is in place that you can feel confident when you plug that new smart device in that you're gonna get the data that you need at the speed that you need it as well, okay? So just make sure that you feel good about from a reliability standpoint that that network infrastructure is solid and the hardware connected to it is gonna give you what you need. And number four, find a partner to work with that can really help you with that installation and troubleshooting. I want to caution you on one thing. These IT vendors, you may, call them, you may hear them called VARs, value-added resellers. Be wary there, okay? They, they're great at that MES level, but when you get down to the industrial automation, that's a leap for them, okay? So who do you trust? You need to lean on the vendors and the support people who know the solutions the best. A lot of times, they're people like Eco. You know, we bring in, we represent these different manufacturers. We have internal subject matter experts, but we also have access to the manufacturing experts to really give you the solutions and the answers that you need to make the best decision moving forward. And work with people that you trust, okay? It's so important. People like us, we love sharing that information to give you exactly what you need to make that best decision in the moment. So there you have it. Several areas to consider when purchasing new smart devices. If you keep these at the forefront of your mind, you're gonna be putting yourself in the best position to make the best decision moving forward as you, as you grow with smart manufacturing.